Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to start working with a project and with the help of project, we are going to learn many of the concepts. So, so far, whatever we learned, we are going to use those knowledge in this session and then we will learn about some of the concepts as well as some of the techniques within Power Automate for our day-to-day -day projects. So, for this example, I am going to pick one of my project which I have done for one of my client and that is going to be use case for many of you in the upcoming days if you are working with the Power Automate projects. So the project which we are going to build is called Excel Uploader Tool. So let's look into the requirement. What are the requirements we are having for this project? So guys, we have a business requirement where the client is giving awards to the employees on a quarterly basis. And for that, they are compiling into an Excel file. And the requirement is they want a tool or say they want a mechanism by which they can put the Excel file inside the document library. And the moment the user will push the Excel file inside the document library, the tool will trigger or say the program will trigger and it will read the Excel file and push it into the SharePoint list. So this is the requirement. So guys, before going into the implementation detail, I'm going to give you the demo of the tool which I have created for the client. So let's look into the demo. So guys, this is the Excel file where client is capturing details about all the employees who is going to get the awards which is of different different types for example some employees getting gold award star award silver award and their managers details are also mentioned over here and on which date the employee got the award that is also mentioned over here regarding the description why he got the award so that description also mentioned over here so the requirement is the moment this excel file is get pushed to one of the folder inside the document library then all the content will be uploaded and it should be uploaded to the SharePoint list. So over here, you will see that we have a documents and within that we are having employees quarterly award folder. And within that, whenever anyone comes over here and upload the Excel file. So let's do it. But prior to that, I wanted to show you, but prior to that, I want to show you the SharePoint list as well. So I will come over here, click site contents over here and within that, I'm having a employees quarterly award. So this has equivalent fields name over here. I will show you the columns detail over here. If you will come inside list settings, then you will find that we have these number of columns where we have the information about manager title. We are capturing the employee name award type which holds the information about different awards. For example, star award, bronze award, gold award, silver award. So all these details are given over here. Along with that, you will see that it has the project which is coming from the lookup. And lookup is there is a projects list also available and it has the information about which projects the employees belongs to. Then we are having the description. Then we are having the award received date, profile link, then points received. So all these information should be captured from the Excel file. So let's go back to the document library. And over here, I am going to upload the Excel file which has the data. So I will come here, click on upload files and over here, I will go to the bulk upload PowerShell and over here, I will select employee award data dot XLX and I will open it. And the moment I will click on open it, it upload it. Now what will happen? I have already created the Power Automate program and with the help of that program, it will upload the content of this file to this list so let's wait for it and once the program will stop execution then you will find that it uploads the data to this particular list so we have to wait for some time so i am pausing the video for a time being the moment it will upload it i will show it so now let's go back click on employee quarterly award and over here you will find that it has uploaded all the data which is inside our excel file so guys, this is the working behavior of our tool which we are going to build in this project. So now let's look into the topics. What are the topics we are going to cover with the help of this project? So guys, the topics we are going to cover with this project is work with REST API. We are going to learn about how to work with the REST API in Power Automate. Then we will look into Excel Online Connector, how to use the Excel Online Connector to fetch the data from the Excel. Once it is being done, then we will look into data operation 
that is called how to use the select action from the data operation connector along with the select we are going to learn about the filter action how to use filter action in power automate these two actions are very important whenever we are playing with the data within power automate once we learn this then we will proceed further and we will look into try and catch logic how to build try catch logic within power automate by default try catch logic is not being provided in the power automate ecosystem once it is being done then we will proceed further and we will look into custom error logging custom error logging is one of the most important feature for power automate program that is because power automate holds only 28 days of history and after 28 days you will not find any of the run history for the power automate program and sometime for the audit purpose we require the custom error and sometime we require the execution information in case of failure to analyze the root cause so in that scenario we must have to log it into some of the database in our case we are going to look into sharepoint list so we are going to create custom error logging mechanism inside power automate using sharepoint list once it is being done and at last we will look into how to build the run history url so guys this is what i wanted to discuss with you in this session see you in the next session in the next session we will start looking into all these concepts with the help of creating the project so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care